71 is a member of the smallest division, the GTU, but you are watching an historic performance. Amos Johnson is about to win his fourth straight GTU title in the 24 hours. No one has ever done that. They have dominated the race. There was one tiny hole in the dike, a blown clutch. Team members Dan Robson and Evan Whittles got in there, burned their fingers, changed the clutch, got Johnson back on the racetrack without losing the lead. The lead. We nominate them for our Mac Tools Behind the Scenes Award. Bob Aiken is with me, and Bob, when that championship is in the bag or that victory is in the bag, everybody on pit road's going to love it. Absolutely, Dave. Amos is one of the most popular guys in IMSA racing, and I think he started before I did. <laughs> From Raleigh, North Carolina, Dennis Shaw builds his engine. It's a great family organization, and they deserve every bit of credit that uh, we can give them. They are the whole story in GTU. Amos Johnson is going after his fourth straight victory, disproving the myth that nice guys finish last. In this year's 24 Hours, North Carolina's Amos Johnson could become the first driver in history to score four straight Daytona victories in his GTU class Mazda. He has plenty of people pulling for him because Amos Johnson and Wife Bunny are considered two of the class people in IMSA racing. There was an incident I think everybody remembers from mid-Ohio about three years ago when one of the competitors had a crash and uh, he had to be kept in the hospital overnight. Bunny and Amos collected all the guys' stuff, put it on their trailer, and made sure that car got home. And boy, that, that just, that typifies their attitude towards this thing. They care a lot about the whole sport, not just their own self-interest. It's to all of our benefits to have the best racing possible. If it means giving your competitor a hand to get his car on the track, to make his car competitive, it's going to make a better show, and in the end, we all benefit from it. So if you look at it from that standpoint, I want every car out there to run uh, a good competitive race, and, and then I'll just take my chances at trying to come out on top. Okay, we're here with the GTU winners. Amos Johnson. Amos, you never stop winning. Congratulations, and when did you first come here? Well, uh, Chris, I, I first ran the 24-hour race, I think, in 1970 uh, in a Fiat 124, and uh, we won class then. Well, you did a great job. How did your, your co-drivers help you today? Well, uh, Dennis Shaw brought the thing home. It uh, wasn't running so good the last half an hour of the race, but uh, he kicked it on in. I don't know if he was more nervous than I was, me standing on the side and him trying to make sure it got to the finish line. How many straight is this now, Emma? This is four straight in GTU. There you go. Congratulations. I got to find out here from Dennis Shaw and Bob Lazier. How tough is carrying the old man? Oh, he's pretty tough. I tell you what, uh, he's the one that leads us all, and uh, we have to keep up with him most of the time. Bob, you've seen it all been in Indianapolis for the car racing. What kind of a day was it for you, and how tough? It was a wonderful day. It was a tough day for me, but I'll tell you, this crew and these people are the one most wonderful people in the world. It, they make me feel like I'm at home and like I've been with them forever. It's really great. Well, that's great. Congratulations to you all. <laughs> Miami Grand Prix. They go by and look at Amos Johnson go into second. Sensational move right up the inside. Use the very great stability of that car. It's a proven car to grab second place. In its last outing, Amos Johnson's GTU Mazda won the 24 Hours of Daytona for the fourth year in a row. Now Amos has made some changes in this car, notably the tires. The hard Daytona rubber replaced by tires that he'll wear down to the cord in just 40 minutes in this race. The transmission has been replaced. That long-legged Daytona gearbox gone in favor of a closer ratio five-speed to provide maximum acceleration off of each of this track's 12 turns. And the power plant? Ah, yes, indeed. For Daytona, you want an endurance model. For Miami, you want speed and brute horsepower. That's the Daytona qualifying engine right there, the engine that sat on the pole for the 24 hours. A couple of months ago, Amos Johnson was an endurance racer, and so was this car. Now. They're Miami Street Fighters. Amos Johnson from Raleigh, North Carolina, is the all-time points leader in IMSA Camel GT racing. He's been doing it for 15, 17 years. Four Daytona 24-hour victories.